Hey everyone, this is Abdul Hamid back again with another the awesome tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create this uh, uh, rocket uh, moving effect. The most important thing in this tutorial is the fire or the heat coming out of the rocket and uh, the way it is moving. So without further talking, let's jump into the tutorial. Here I am in After Effects. Uh, uh, first of all, I'm gonna create a new composition. Everything looks fine here. Now let's create a new solid layer. Background, it's gonna be a background solid. So I'm gonna create a new white solid, something like this. After this, after this, I'm gonna draw or create that uh, rocket. I'm gonna fast forward this step because it's quite simple to do it. Uh, so here I go. So here I have created a really simple rocket inside After Effects. I think everyone can do this. If you want a detailed tutorial on how to create this rocket, you can go into my other tutorial. You can see the link to that tutorial on your top right corner of the screen. So go and check that out if you really don't know how to create this. So after this, what we have to do is just create that heat coming out of its back right here. And for that, I'm gonna create a new solid layer. I'm gonna go and create a circle somewhere here let's go to the bottom point and close it like this try to give it a shape like this now go to pan behind tool which is right here and place anchor point at the top like this scale it down to something you prefer so now i want the scale of this layer to wiggle but i don't want to wiggle the x uh, property of the scale i just want to wiggle the y property so for that we have a special expression in after effects that you have to learn so i'm gonna go press and hold alt key on my keyboard and then click on the stopwatch of the scale which is right here so i'm gonna create a variable uh, any variable i want so i prefer creating a variable with name b I'm gonna go and press space equals now this variable is equal to wiggle parentheses 725 uh, most of you know what wiggle expression is so now I have created an expression wiggle expression which is equal to B so I don't have to write wiggle every time I can just write B after effects would know that uh, B is equal to wiggle so I'm recording this bit separately so I can better explain what's happening so I've created this variable B where I have kept my wiggle information then I have ended my first line with a semicolon so what my B variable is saying wiggle seven times a second by 25 pixels and then hold this information in the variable B now press the return key on your keyboard to jump into the second line. Now we're gonna use this value of B to wiggle our Y dimension. So here how the second line goes. Open square bracket value, open square bracket zero, close square bracket, comma, B, open square bracket one, close square bracket and close square bracket. We see dimensions as X and Y, the horizontal and the vertical dimensions, but After Effects sees it as 0 and 1. 0 means X dimension and 1 means Y dimension. Here the value expression means to use the value that already exists for 0. 
which is x dimension. So the value that already exists is to be static so don't move 0. And here b means we have assigned the value of b to 1 which is y axis. And we already know b holds wiggle information. I hope you understand what I am saying if not just copy the expression from the description into your expression box. So back to after effects. Here you can see we have scale wiggle but it's only on the y axis. You can also play with the value of scale. I'm gonna change it to 10 and this to 25. So now we are done with the wiggle. Let's parent the heat layer to the rocket. Let's place the rocket somewhere here. Bring down the position of the rocket. Press and hold Alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch of the position. I'm gonna type in wiggle parentheses 1 comma 10. Let's uh, change the 10 to 20. After this I have to create uh, some particles that move from here to here so we can have a better uh, perspective of motion. So for that I'm gonna go and create some ellipse that are shaped like this. Let's uh, give it a black color, dark blackish color, scale it down like this and place it somewhere here. Go to the position, create a keyframe and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I guess frames ahead and uh, move it down like this. We have something like this. I'm gonna go and turn on the motion blur for this layer and then go to opacity and turn down the opacity something like this I guess 30 is good after this I'm gonna duplicate it multiple times and change its uh, position go to its position value and change it to something like this duplicate it again go to position value change it to something like this duplicate again After a few duplicates, select all of them and pre-compose it. Then duplicate the pre-compose like a few times and you are done. So the last step for this is to go into effects and preset and type in box blur. Go and grab fast box blur onto the heat layer which is right here. Uh, blurness dimensions. Uh, go and change it to vertical and increase its value so here we are done with this effect so that's how simple it is thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next tutorial till then signing out peace